So what do you want from your mother that you're not getting besides getting rid of him? I still feel that you guys think, however long it's been I've had it, that I just need to be over it, when in fact it's been at its worst, and so I need some understanding. Because I feel like in your eyes, I have to be perfect with this outpatient team, and I get so scared of like the retaliation of, you lost weight this appointment, like, you're in trouble. You yell, you get mad, and it's like, at one point I get how exhausting it is, but at the same time, like, I wish you knew the battle that was going on inside me. And it's not that easy because this is my 10th year of anorexia. What is it you want them to understand that they do not understand? This is a great time to give it a voice. To understand that I need some control in my life too. That because you have the guardianship, you don't get to control everything. Like I just feel like, let me have some control and learn from my mistakes, and I'm hoping I do. I hope that does help. But I'm meaning that in the aspects of friends who I hang out with, I mean, the whole realm. What is it you want the freedom to do that you don't have the freedom to do? To pick and choose my friends, to okay. pick and choose. That's one, what else? Pick and choose what I do throughout my day, to pick and choose my job, to pick and choose what TV shows I watch. I mean, I just feel like... What job, though? I would love for you to have a job. Do I need help? Yeah. But I need... And honestly, I don't know. I haven't had it. I've never had this opportunity because I feel like I've been controlled for so long. So, I mean, it's really hard to say. No, I think you're doing a good job. I, I think you've articulated some things that seem very reasonable to me. Perception is reality. I mean, if, if you perceive something to be a certain way, then, and we tend to believe what we tell ourselves, then to us, that's our prison. You know, right. that's our reality. Right. And she's 23. Right. And she has this illness that's going to be dealt with in a different way. I am telling you, look, I, I've been in this profession for 45 years. This is not the first or worst anorexic I've dealt with. Many have died. I'm sorry to tell you, many have died. I've seen many in the hospital and they never got out. Uh, she has time to turn this around. And I can tell you, if you don't unplug like I'm telling you and, and, and you can do, then nothing's going to change here. She's telling you her currency is attention. Her currency is shock value. And she's doing bad behavior to get it. You just don't reward bad behavior. You just don't reward bad behavior.